K Black Boxing coming to you another video. As you can see, man, it's 1:44 a.m. where I'm at as the beginning of this video, and you see it's cold as hell outside, man. 16 degrees, man. So, but hey, got to keep grinding and put this damn thing down. Got to keep grinding, man. Just like I do at work, I got to keep grinding, putting up, pushing out these videos, man. First and foremost, shout out to the whole LDBC. Man, shout out to our supporters, the uh, commenters that leave comments in the comment section. Shout out to you guys. Uh, shout out to the uh, individuals that show love to us, as well as the individuals that hate us, man. It's all love at the end of the day. Well, you know, uh, last week I made a video about Mikey Garcia saying... Um, him wanted to face Robert Easter Jr. He basically wanted more money, and he felt as if the money, the fight they get made, because uh, it wasn't enough money on the table for the both of them. That was all according to Mikey Garcia. You know, he's basically saying that he was going to um, initially sat down with Jorge Linares, but a better offer was offered to him about uh, uh, from PBC side, and initially it was Robert Easter Jr. Then, uh, according to Mikey Garcia, he said both. Him and Robert Easter Jr. wasn't enough money on the table, so that's the reason why Robert Easter Jr. is fighting Javier Fortuna, and that's the reason why Mikey Garcia went the Sergey Lippin this route. You know, man, I did say in that video it was all according to Mikey Garcia because I didn't hear Robert Easter's side until today, of course. Man, shout out to my brother Dante's Boxing Nation. I got this information from him, uh, and I've seen his article on Boxing.com as well. Robert Easter Jr., you know, gave his side of the story. And, you know, he basically said that it's just a lame excuse, a money excuse, the reason why <clears throat> him and Mikey Garcia didn't sit down. Uh, even though, Mike, you know, Mikey Garcia, in his case, he was basically saying that uh, the reason why he didn't fight Robert Easton Jr. is because, uh, like I said, it wasn't enough money on the table. As well, he felt as if it's, you know, it's a threat. You know, he, he feels as if Robert Easton was a big threat because of his height and his reach. You know, he feels as if Libanus was a threat weight-wise because he had to move up in weight to fight him. But he feels as if uh, Robert Easton Jr. being close to five, six inches, maybe taller and got a longer reach and stuff like that, that he even poses a bigger threat. And, um, but he did say, and Mike Garcia did say after... Uh, he fight Libanus if he get past him. Of course, he will sit down with Jorge Linares again, even Robert Easter Jr. again, see if there's more money there. But like I said, Robert Easter Jr. was like, man, he was ready to fight. On his end, according to Robert Easter Jr., he said he was ready to fight. You know, it was cool with him. You know, he's basically saying that um, Mikey Garcia was just making excuses for why they didn't fight because he says himself that he knows that he is a, a threat, you know, with his height and his reach. And he felt as if that, he wanted him to. He wanted to fight maybe possibly an easier opponent versus fighting him. You know, this is what Robert Easton Jr. was saying. You know, and I'm just paraphrasing the article, of course. And he also stated that, you know, uh, Mikey Garcia, I guess, was alluding to him that he could, you know, he didn't have enough fan base. And Robert Easton Jr. was saying that, you know, he packed out his hometown two fights in a row and he's big he said he know he know you know he know he has fans and people know him so that's just an excuse as well he also he said no disrespect to living this but what has he done you know and also uh he said to him he said he doesn't care if he would have fought in front of nobody he said because that's what he really want to do he just wants to fight you know, it would be a unification fight, of course. You know, both of you guys are advised by Al Heyman, so the fight should be made easy if they do ever sit down and discuss and get the numbers right or whatever the case may be, according to Mikey Garcia, you know. But according to Robert Easton Jr., he said, fuck all that in so many words. He want to, uh, he just want to fight. He said, he don't, whenever, whatever, whatever the, the money is, he just want to fight. And in front of, he don't even care if it's in front of nobody. He just want, he just want to fight, man. So... And I'm put my take on it. See, what I did say in that first video I made about Mikey Garcia, man, he, I did say, see, when people start talking about money, they just got to call a spade a spade, it's because the threat is present. You know? Just like with Jeff Horn and Crawford. He want all this amount of money because he know Crawford is a real threat. And there's no different in this fight. Both these guys are undefeated. 
You know, Mike, uh, I really like Robert Dixon Jr. Mikey Garcia is probably my top five right about now. You know, if I revamp the whole damn thing, my uh, top five and shit, which I'm going to have to do soon. Uh, he's probably in my top five, man. Definitely in my top ten. And Robert Dixon Jr., if he's not in my top ten, he's definitely creeping up. Man, I like Robert Dixon Jr., man. And, I, and I've, you know, and I've been on record and I stated that I knew Mikey Garcia was going to be raging Brona. And I stated that. If he was to fight Robert Easter Jr., that Robert Easter Jr. would be, I'm not saying he, Robert Easter Jr. would uh, beat Mikey Garcia because I'm not going to make a breakdown on prediction until they both sign on the dotted line. But I said that Robert Easter Jr. would put up a better showing than Adrian Broner. Hell, to be honest, the way Adrian Broner performed in that fight, shit, fucking Wano can probably possibly, uh, a couple weeks of training can probably possibly get in there and fight a better fight than uh, Adrian Broner because he didn't do shit in that fight. But I think Robert Easter Jr. will really truly take uh, take his who takes his scrap seriously. He will get in there and you know give Mikey Garcia all he can handle. And Mikey Garcia knows that man, so he's just looking like shit. If you go, if you go, if you, if I gotta fight this goddamn uh, lightweight giant, so to speak, I need to get paid. Uh, well, because especially if I get my ass whooped, you know. So my my thing is this, man. <clears throat> I'm glad that Robert Garcia, not, not Robert, not Robert Garcia. That's Mikey Garcia trainer, of course. But I'm glad that Robert Easter Jr. put his uh, take on it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I reported what Mikey Garcia said last week, <clears throat> and today I'm reporting what Robert Easter Jr. said, man. So we got two conflicting stories. Mikey Garcia said it was money the reason why they didn't get in. Robert Easter Jr. said, hey, this is just a damn excuse. You just didn't want to get this damn work in so many goddamn words. So, man, what you guys think, man? The article is on BossScene.com, man. Y'all can check it out to uh, to get the full, uh, the full uh, intel on that story. I'm just uh, giving it to you from my point of view. And, uh, hey, I just want to see Michael Garcia versus Robert Easter Jr., man. Especially now since, you know... Robert Easter Jr. came and said what he had to say. So we might we might see something brewing real quickly. As long as it's Mike Garcia get past Lippinitz, as long as Robert Easter Jr. get past uh, Fortuna, we might have something brewing in the summer, man. Maybe later next, or uh, even possibly later this year, man. This is K Black Boxing. Like, comment, subscribe.